Oh, Capricorn. Rambling Mike here, gonna play a little bit of tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in again one more time. Appreciate your view. You know I do. Thanks for hitting that old like button while you're thinking about it. Right there. I like Mike. Thank you, Capricorn. And I always want to take a minute of gratitude. Bless my many, many Cappies that have blessed me over the years. Capricorn, if you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, thank you so very much. I'm very kind of you. Appreciate it all. Large or small. Doing a relationship spread here for you, Cappy Cap. Going to shuffle the cards right in front of you. Going to pull them right in front of you. Freestyle tarot from the heaven and earth. He's going to talk about relationships, homework, family, the neighbors, the kids. They can also talk about love. I got some love cards here. Also have my Tarot Illuminati. Going to freestyle with that as well, Cappy Cap. I'll uh, give you a nice full spread. Absolutely have my favorite Oracle deck, the Mystic Moon Oracle. And we're going to top off your full, spree, your full spread, Capricorn, with a couple of major Arcanas. My favorite Capricorn, the old David Bowie deck right here, a.k.a. the Starman. All that being said, Cappy Cap, I do want to remind you, i got a meet and greet coming up Sunday, June 23rd, beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. It's going to be at Vedic Moons. It's our metaphysical center here. Uh, i got a DJ coming in, uh, a bunch of catered food, yummy, some wine, yummy. I will be doing uh, live one-on-one -on -one tarot readings with people there at the meet and greet. Door prizes. A couple things are rattling off. You know, good old-fashioned meet and greet fun. Again, that'll be Sunday, June 23rd. There's a link in the comments section. Check it out. Check that button. Hopefully, I'll see you sun Sunday, June 23rd. Cappy Cap, let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is tarot time. For Capricorn, what's going on around here? Whoa. Whoa, I got a, uh, a Six of Wands as an overall. Uh, this is my card about... Um, Victory after a battle, confidence in yourself, receiving the attention that you're worthy of. Um, I call this card uh, the Triumph and Return of the Sun King. And uh, this pony seems to be prancing towards Ten Pinnacles over here. That is the Tree of Life. Right there. That's that power couple over there, Capricorn. There's a hierophant looking at him. Wow. Wow, wow, well, you know, for me, this is the little white picket fence, you know, and the big house, the house on the hill. What is this, man? What is that? It's very, very nice. Little white picket fence energy victory. Got some movement right here with Six of Wands. Tell me more, Capricorn, Capricorn, what's going on? Capricorn. A new world energy showed up for you, Cappy Cap. An old cycle has ended so that a new cycle can begin. That's my world dancer right there, Cappy. I definitely want you seeing the world as your oyster. And ooh la la, this can talk about your pearl of great prize showing up around here. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. Tell me more, Capricorn. 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 Give me one. What do we got right here? Oh, the Empress seated on her throne. Damn. That's a major arcana. 
It's, a, it's the Venus card in the tarot deck. You know, love and abundance. Ooh la la, six of wands. Is, <laughs> I got an empress on the throne. You know, the empress is always birthing a new world, if you ask me. Who's that, man? Who's that? Or is that Cappy? I don't know, man. We got some movement towards Ten of Pentacles. A new world energy. An old cycle has ended, so a new cycle can begin. And my very beautiful Empress seated on her throne, Venus, love and abundance. Or on Capricorn spread around here. Ooh la la, man. Well, 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 well. Nice cards. You see, six wands can be a, uh, it can be a committed energy, especially when it's sitting by ten pentacles right there. Oh, my goodness. Look who just showed up around here. <laughs> oh, 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 the emperor and the empress and the wheel of destiny. The wheel of change for the better. Maybe a wheel of the return. Like I said, I call this, you know, the triumphant return of the sun king. Just saying. And now there may be some cappies getting up and running and bolting the door right now. now these are major arcanas that came out. Major arcanas. Wow, there's passionate communication. That's a page of wands. That's a communication card. Passionate communication, you know, the kind of communication that makes you feel good. So there may be some cappies out there be like, tell me a little more, Mike. Tell me a little more. <laughs> wow, major arcana. So six wands, ten pins, the world card, the empress, the emperor, the wheel of fortune, and passionate communication. Page of wands energy. That's also a minor arcana fool card. You know, about a fresh start, potentially. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, Cappy Cap. We got the old Sun King showing up around here, prancing in on their pony. Oh, they're thinking about Ten Pinnacles. They're thinking about a new world. Got an Empress and an Empress sitting right there beside each other. The Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Return. Wheel of Destiny, Passion and Communication, and boom! <laughs> oh, Lordy! Who do who? who do, this is a great adventure right here. Look at this. Look at this passion building here. Oh, good night, Irene, man. These two, these two may be excited about talking. Talking again. Well, you know, <laughs> it could be, could be some laundry day over here. Boy. Who do who? Capricorn. Capricorn, little page of wands. <laughs> oh, there's your energy right there. Is this you? Is this you? Queen of Pins? Queen of the World? Seated on your throne? I mean, this would say to me that you got it going on with or without, with or without either the Semper or the Sempress, right? Because uh, somebody knows how to manifest uh, financial security and comfort all on their own. All on their own, huh, Capricorn? Queen of Pentacles is a committed energy, though. It is a committed energy. I got a lot of committed energy on here. That I do from whoever this uh, Six of Wands uh, pony is around here. I got some excitement. I got some passionate communication, at least. <laughs> at least with the Zephyr and the Zephyrus. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, man, love is in the air. Capricorn, hi, Cappy. Hi, Cappy, here's my cop. Oh, Lordy, man. The fire pony, the love pony. Showing up around here, committed energy. Queen of Pentacles energy. Ten of Pentacles energy. <laughs> Capricorn, Capricorn. Hey, Frankie. Nice to see you tonight. I love your channel, my friend. Thank you so very much. Oh, wow. Cappy Cap. Uh, three Pentacles came out. This is, these are great cards. Uh, you know, we got passion. We got, we got emotions. We got love. Looks exciting to me as a tarot reader, huh? And Three Pentacles is a card of collaboration. It's about... Uh, 
building a new foundation with somebody that's important to you, you're important to them. It's a great place to start, right? Three pinnacles. There's ten pins right there, man. Well, let's get Terra Illuminati out and see what this is talking about around here. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Northern Mode, all that. If you got Capri in your chart, man, get ready, get ready, get ready. Got an Emperor and an Empress and a new world with these two. Three Pentacles, the Ten Pentacles. Got a got some passion and some love over here. Tell me more, tell me more. What do we got right here? What do we got right here? Capricorn. Six of Swords, that's a fun card on it. Um, Cause this is like a return with six of wands. Uh, and there it is right there, you know. This is my card about coming out of choppy water. Going over the river of sticks. It's Paradise Island right there. For who? The old emperor. The old emperor has been showing up in my spreads lately. Second, second emperor, second deck right here. This is the old emperor. They can be male or female. I call the emperor the stubborn one, okay? And uh, it looks like, looks like this emperor right here, I don't know. Huh? They may have been through the battle themselves. This emperor's got a bunch of armor on. And uh, they're chilling, though, in their throne. They may be done with their own personal battles over there. And uh, look what they're thinking about. Coming across the old river of Styx over to Paradise Island over here. This is all up on my spread here, Paradise Island. So they may have been thinking about this for a minute. Six of Wands talks about busting a move. Busting a move. Um, I just saw eight pentacles too. Eight pentacles, three pentacles, ten pentacles. I wonder if you guys could, uh, you know, power couple stuff is with ten pentacles right there. I wonder if you guys could put some kind of business together or something. Maybe that's what they're thinking about. Tell me more, tell me more, Capricorn. <laughs> Again, the love pony. Wow, Capricorn. Hi, Capri. Here's my cop. Kaboosh. Kaboosh. That's where they're going. See, look at this emperor right here. Six of Swords. They got a plan. They got a plan, Cappy, or vice versa. Is it you, Cappy? Either way, man, we got we got some movement around here. Wow, towards the land where the sun shines. Here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. Here comes the sun. Look at that, man. They know where the sun shines at. <laughs> they know where the sun shines at around here, man. It's this, <laughs> it's this Queen of Pentacles right here. Look at this story. I'm going to bring the Queen of Pentacles down here on this. It was the last one out from the heaven and earth. Then these are the Terra Luminatis. And there's your emperor. There's six swords. Huh? And the love pony to the land where the sun shines. And is that Capricorn right there? More than likely. It's a committed energy as well. It's a definitely committed energy. Beautiful, beautiful story right here. But these emperors just are not staying in my deck anymore. They are not. They, they, they hid for quite a long time. But, uh... Not anymore, man. They're coming out of every deck I'm shuffling up. Here we go, man. Here we go, my lovelies. Let's see what Mystic Moon has to say on this. Capricorn. Capricorn. Oh, I'm telling you, man. It's union time around here. When that moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie that's a morning. Uh... I mean, I've been seeing this energy here. I've been seeing this energy here um, myself since uh, November of last year. And we are here, man. It is summertime. It is summertime. I got a union card right there. 
Oh, look. It's the spring. Wow, this could happen any minute. But it's spring where I'm at. A couple days to summertime. But those are cherry blossoms right there. An omen of good luck and good fortune. Union, spring. <laughs> oh, oh. Let's go, man. Let's go. Cappy cap. Cappy cap. Oh, <laughs> maybe, you know, maybe in quiet for a while. It may have been a lot of patience here. Look at these two. That's that old mute card, you know, the silence and, and the patience. Oh, look at this, man. That's all about to change, if you ask me. Yes. Give me another one right here. Capricorn, I'm liking your spread. Get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Oh. Oh. Well, look. It's this old emperor energy right here. I call him the stubborn one. And, you know, the old crossroads. You know, oh, I can't make up my mind. And, uh, oh, but look, shadow work came out. Look at what's going on with the emperors. Shadow work showing up around here. They all getting down in there and uh, cutting out all those core negative beliefs. Cut the recognition. Cut to recognition. Cut to high vibration. Are we talking about the emperor? Yes, we are. High vibration metamorphosis. Wow, some of them may be tired of being stuck like Chuck in a broke down truck. Wow. <laughs> It's right here, Capricorn. Yeah, the signs. Definitely for divine masculine in this story, male or female. Signs. The balancing of the scales. And again, I mean, sometimes I leave this in here. I've been leaving this card in here for a while. It's that one. It's that one. Twin flame. Soulmate energy. Oh, it's right there, Twin Flame, Soulmate, either or, offer. Look at that, man. Look at this, recognition, union, uh, balancing the scales. There's a lot of work going on with my masculine, my friends. A lot of work, huh? A lot of work. For the better. Give me a major arcana on here for my lovely, lovely Capricorns. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Yeah, there's a chariot. There's a chariot coming barreling down the path around here. Give me one for the board, one for the board. Capricorn. Oh, hey, hey. Uh, that, that's the Pope and the tarot deck around here. Oh, there's my lovelies right over there. Oh, looks like they may be stepping up in front of the hair file. Maybe jumping the broom soon. Wow. Oh, yeah, well, they're the lovers. This is a story about the lovers and the hair fans. And a story where the two sons have the possibility to become one son. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Hope you enjoyed this read, Cap Cap. If you made it to this part, thanks for your view. Appreciate that so very much. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button right there, huh, Cappy Cap? Ring my bell. Hit that old I like Mike button if you would. Appreciate that so very much, Capricorn. And, uh, I'll play some cards in a few short days. Hopefully I'll see you Sunday.
June 23rd. Check the link. I'll play some cards in a few short days. Cappy Cat. Love and light. Bye for now. Well, 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 well.